Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and uh, today I'm leaving the office a little early. I got got a few errands to run, um, but I wanted to talk to you about, well, I want to talk to you about a friend of mine who passed away a couple years ago um, on February 24th. Um, my friend Omar passed away. He was involved in a car accident and on February 27th, which is also my birthday, um, I was at his funeral. And I, I can't help but think that if someone had a tool when he was involved in the accident, I'm gonna give you a basic story. He was involved in a car accident where he lost control of his vehicle. He spun sideways and he hit the side of a, a small tree like a palm tree. Now he was driving a Tesla. If you know anything about Teslas, they have those remote door handles. So uh, they, they go in, so there's no handle to break. Well, there was an officer behind him on the road. Um, I think it was an unmarked car, um, but he saw him go. Well, right when the accident happened, the car caught on fire. And whether Omar was unconscious, uh, you know, we don't know. Um, we know he was alive because um, he didn't have any broken bones or anything, but the car caught on fire. The, the officer and another person tried to break the window, tried to open the door handles, and they weren't, they couldn't. And Omar was, like, he was just a, a solid guy, just someone that I always remember. And this Christmas, you know, I, I, I bought this product, I bought it on Amazon no particular name or anything I'm not selling a product but you see this right here this product if you're inside of a vehicle you literally tap on a window and the window breaks right now also on here if you notice there's this other piece all right you take it on the seatbelt and whoosh, and it cuts the seatbelt right off right in my humble opinion if my friend would have either had this in his car or if the people that stopped to help him would have had this in their car, my friend would be alive today. And it's, it's hard knowing that. So I told my wife, I got one for my wife. I got one for myself. I got one for you know, my, my family. <laughs> Crazy thing is, is my wife forgot to wrap them. So everyone didn't get them. I bought like a whole case of them and I'm, I'm gonna give them to people because Omar's children lost a father. His wife lost a husband, family, you know, brothers, sisters, his parents lost a son. And this simple product that literally cost a couple of bucks broke the glass. Again, the officer couldn't break the glass and he couldn't get the handle to come out. And um, my friend died in the car that day, February 24th. And it's gonna, it's gonna stick with me forever. And um, I'm not telling you because I wanna tell you a sad story. I'm telling you because these products, right? I don't know, you just keep it inside your, your door here or you keep it on your visor. If you get stuck, you know, if your car flips over, sometimes it's hard to get that seatbelt off. God forbid you go into water, it's hard to get the door open. This little, look at that, that, that little bit will crack. The, you know, I watch the demonstrations. I'm not gonna do it on my brand new truck, but that little piece can break it and that can cut the seatbelt off. And if the two people that were right behind Omar on February 24th would have had these items, I mean, they threw stuff against the window trying to break, they couldn't, couldn't break it. And he died. And um, I'm never gonna forget my friend, never gonna forget what happened, but I would like to uh, let other people know that sad story so they can protect themselves. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. Um, protect yourself. You never know. So, uh, these things cost me a couple dollars. Um, 
buy one on Amazon and uh, keep your keep yourself safe and your family safe. Thanks. Rest in peace, Omar. You're loved, my friend, and never forgotten.